Hello everyone. In continuation with the linear differential equation with constant coefficient, in the last session we have seen that how to find out or how to write down the complementary function when the roots are real, when the, there are a pair of roots, when there are complex numbers and so on. Let us go ahead with the particular integral. What do you mean by particular integral? Particular integral means capital X is equals to some kind of function, right? Now here, in this case, we'll be dealing in this session, we'll be dealing with the function of the kind x is equals to e to the power ax. Okay, when the particular integral, that is, whenever I have got my f of d, right, f of d on y is equals to capital X. And I'm talking about this capital X. If I'm having the capital X of this kind, say for e to the power 4 x e to the power minus 5 x e to the power minus 100 x and so on what would be what would be a particular integral in that case <clears throat> when we are having the particular integral here so it's nothing but 1 upon f of d e to the power x what it is if you'll observe this f of d into y is equals to x so that means what if i wanted to find out this x i need to uh, if I wanted to find out this y over here, I have to take this f of d, this operator, with this along with this x. So that means, in short, uh, what am I doing? I am doing it here. y is equals to 1 upon f of d, right? 1 upon f of d on this x, on this x. And this is nothing but what is particular integral? Particular integral means to find out, find out this y whenever my x is other than 0. Might be to the power x, might be to the power sine of x, cos of x, and the combination of those. So these are this is nothing but in this series, we'll be dealing with the particular integral of different kinds. Now, if at all, I have my particular integral here in this e to the power x kind, then what will be that? This is nothing but it's a easiest and a very simple way. It's equals to 1 upon f of a. That means in this f of d, I'm replacing every d by a, and I'm just writing this e to the power e, e to the power a x, as it is here. So this is what, that's all. So this is nothing but my y is equals to, right? But there is one constraint. What is the constraint? The constraint is this f of a should not be zero. What will happen if this f of a is zero? If this f of a is going to be zero, then the, this, this y will go to the infinity because this is one upon zero. And one upon zero will lead to the infinity. And therefore this condition holds only if it is not zero. If what will happen if it is zero, if it is zero, then we have to do it one upon f of d e to the power x. And I'm saying that if this f of a is coming out to be zero at that time, I have to differentiate f dash of d, right? That means I have to differentiate this f dash of d and then replace d by a. But in that process, I have to take out this x out of this operator here, out of this operator. So if you'll observe the position of this x, it is not inside this. It is there outside, outside this operator. So that means what? This is nothing but if I am differentiating my function f of d with respect to d, and then I'm keeping my d, replace that d by a, then one x will come out. And this e to the power x will be as it is, if you'll observe. But what will happen if there is one more, there is one more times, what this condition holds good only if my f dash of a is not equals to zero. What will happen if it is zero? Then again, I have to differentiate this f dash of a one more time, and it will give me f double dash of a. But this x square will come out of it. That means first x from the first differentiation, one more x will come while doing the second differentiation. And this in this way, the procedure will go on. This procedure will go on this way, right? So this is a very simple example. Let us go for the example. Now solve d square plus 2d plus 1 on y is equals to e to the power minus 6 plus 3. Now, if you'll observe, we have got some function over here, right? Now, what is auxiliary equation? This d square plus 2d plus 1 is equals to 0. So, what are the roots? Roots are minus 1, comma, minus 1. If the roots are repeating, then what is the CF? CF is c1 plus c2x e to the power minus 6. Two roots, two constants. PI. What is PI? Particular integral. Now, if you observe, I have got e to the power minus 6 plus 3. Plus 3. What is this 3 means? It's 3 is nothing but 
can I do this? Yes, I can because it's three into one, and this one I'm 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 getting replaced. I'm replacing this one by e to the power zero x just for having or just for using this kind of formula over here. Let us deal with the first that is e to the power minus x. E to the power minus x, as I told, we have to we have to put that. What is the value of a over here? The value of a in this present case is e to the power minus a x, right? So what is a? A is equals to minus one here, minus one over here. So if I'm putting a is equals to minus one here, so it is minus one square that is one plus two into minus one that is minus two plus one. So I'm going to get is one plus one minus two, which is two minus two. I'm going to get this as zero. If I'm go going to get this denominator equals to zero, that means this this kind of equation I cannot use. I have to go with the second one that is here. That means I need to differentiate it once. So what is the differentiation of this will give me? But before that, I need to take out one x out of the bracket. So this is what is the x over here. So this is the x over here, which has come out of the bracket. It has come out of the bracket. And now it is d squared plus 2d plus 1. I need to differentiate with respect to t. So this will be 2d plus 2. This differentiation of 1 will give me 0. And e to the power minus x as it is. So now, if you, if you observe this x is come out of the bracket, that means this x is not coming under this operator. X will be x will remain x until the last step until in the answer. Now, if you observe again, if I will check with this f dash of d over here, if I will check and put uh, put uh, this a is equals to minus one or d equals to minus one here, I'm going to get minus two plus two is equals to zero. That means again. This is going to be zero. If this is going to be zero, again, I need to differentiate it one more time. And uh, this is not two. This is two over here in the uh, numerator. So, so in the power. So it's x squared, right? It's x squared. And what will be the differentiation here in the denominator? It's 2d plus 2. Differentiation will give me just 2. And therefore, it's 1 by 2 e to the power minus x. So this will pi1 is nothing but x squared 1 by 2 e to the power minus x. This is pi1. Let us go for pi2. As I have told you here, it's e to the power 0x because we are doing that only to have this uh, the clear notification or the clear use of this formula. So it's 3. 3 will come out of this because it's a constant with respect to the variable x over here right now. <clears throat> it's 1 upon d squared plus 2d plus 1 operating on e to the power 0x. If I will replace every d by 0, it's very simple. It's 0 over here plus 0 plus 1. So I'm going to get this is equals to 3. So I've got this. The answer for this pi2 is equals to 3. What is the complete solution or a general solution? General solution is cf plus pi. And therefore, the general solution is nothing but cf plus pi. And cf is c1 plus c2x e to the power minus x. What is this here? You have got it here, present here, here. And what is this? pi1 plus pi2 that is here x square 1 by 2 e to the power minus x plus 3 over here. So this is got is the complete solution of this particular linear differential equation. One more example we'll go for. So just by the CF will be, uh, I'll, I'm just keeping some few uh, steps here. What is what, what are the steps I'm skipping it here? It's a d square minus 6d plus 9 on y is equal to this 3, right? And what is this? d squared minus 60 plus 9 will give me the roots as 3 comma 3. The roots are, so that means what I have got it here, d as 3 comma 3. If I've got the roots as 3 comma 3, two roots, which are real and they are repeating, it's two constants c1, c2, c1 plus c2 times x e to the power 3x. What is the pi here? pi is this is nothing but 1 upon d square minus 60 plus 9 getting operated on these three terms. So that means we have got it here pi1 plus pi2 plus pi3, right? But instead of making it in a separate way because it's a direct version, this, this, can, this method can also be working here. So this is 1 upon, now if I'm putting what is the value of, uh, let us consider the first case here. First case, what is the value of a? The a is over here is 3. A is 3. So if I'm putting A is 3, so it's 9 minus 18 plus 9 will give me 0. 18 minus 18 will give me 0. So this is going to be 0 for this particular thing. 
if this is going to be zero i cannot use this formula i need to go and use this one so i need to check it again the differentiation will give me 2d minus 6 right so x into 1 upon 2d minus 6 which is nothing but 6 into e to the power 3x getting operated 6 you can take it outside also doesn't matter and then this will go the next step let us go and see the second also so what is the second is this what is the value of a a is equals to minus 2 a is minus 2 so if i'm putting a is minus 2 everywhere am i going to get zero here no i guess because it's 2 minus 2 square 4 minus 6 into minus 2 will give me plus 12 plus 9 so this is non zero so this i can directly put it so here i can use the first one first step only and 7 into e to the power minus 2x as it is now let us come here it's minus of log of 2 minus log of 2 it's independent of variable x because the variable is x as uh, x is the variable here so this is a constant with respect to variable so it will come out of this now while coming out of here it is it will give me zero as per the previous case one is getting replaced as e to the power zero x right and then just i have to put it this zero over here and then i'll get the answer so come back here with this again here so what is the first is yes, here now if you'll observe here if i'm putting d equals to d equals to three here again i'm going to get zero so it's six six minus six will give me zero so that means what i need to again differentiate it one more time with respect to x only the denominator only the denominator i'm differentiating so differentiation will give me 2d only 2 minus 6 will go to 0 and because i'm differentiating in second time this one more x will come and this will become x square so x square 1 by 2 into 6 into e to the power 3x plus now this will give me 7 by 25 e to the power minus 2x minus log of 2 minus log of 2 and this if i will put 0 everywhere in this third one because here the value of cap small a is 0 and if i'll put 0 everywhere it will give me plus 9 so it's log of 2 1 by 9 which is equals to 3 now this entire thing will give me 3 x square e to the power 3 x plus 7 by 25 e to the power minus 2 x minus 1 by 9 log of 2 and that means what i have got the answer of pi part see if we have already found out pi we have got it so what is the general solution or you can say a complete solution so it's nothing but cf plus pi and therefore this y is nothing but c1 plus c2 x e to the power 3 x which is the cf part and this is what is the the pi part here if you observe this so this is what is the general and the complete solution of this I hope you all have understood when the capital X is given to you with capital X is given to you something like e to the power 3x or e to the power minus 2x or e to the power 0x kind of question. If it is so, we have to deal it with this kind of way. I hope you all can able to solve based on this the further, further uh, questions based on this particular integral when x is equal to e to the power x. Thank you. Happy learning.